all your effects that you're gonna put on all your vocals um so I'm gonna show y'all a real basic and modern and commonly used vocal chain which consists of a parametric EQ a compressor another EQ an exciter a de and a delay so um those are pretty common things that everyone puts on their vocals an EQ and a compressor especially are the most common things and probably a de or a delay and I'm gonna throw in an exciter and show you how the exciter can really help your vocal so what I'm gonna show y'all today it can be applied to all platforms any DAW you can create any vocal chain any kind you want everyone it has different tastes different order on how their vocal chain orders or whatever um, this is just mine this is a real basic one um, I don't use this one all the time but I'm, I'm basically doing this one to show y'all how you can create a vocal chain and what might be some parameters in order that you can put it um, I'm gonna use just stock plugins on Adobe Audition CC but just realize even though these plugins are just stock on Adobe Audition CC you can replace any of the EQs that I use with your own EQ you can replace any of the compressor that I demonstrate with your compressor um, every doll has different stock plugins but today I'm just gonna show you the stock plugins I use just with Adobe Audition CC so let's get started I got this vocal right here it's the lead vocal to my first verse this is me rapping I made this beat I got everything muted except the verse and the beat so I'm gonna show y'all what it sounds like fully processed with all the vocals I've included so check this out I spit the shit raw going in no fucking plastic now wrap me up to vibe me man I'm still not average I'm kind of like an addict cuz I got some bad habits who the sickest on the mic what that shit's been established that's me that's me yeah I'm some like a heavyweight playing with the beat you can say that I masturbating everybody Everybody want to rap, everybody acting hard, but they not in the trap. Okay, so that's with the beat, and I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it sounds pretty clean. Um, just some backgrounds on this vocal. It was recorded with an MXL 3000 mic, a PreSonus audio box, and it was recorded in my uh, vocal booth, which is acoustically treated. There was no preamp used, no saturation, no compression, no EQ. It was strictly just raw from the from the interface to the mic into the computer so um let me show y'all without the beat so y'all can get more of the actual character of the vocal by itself check it out this is with all the processing done I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on the mic? What that shit's been established? That's me, that's me. Yeah, I'm some like a heavyweight playing with the beat. You can say that I'm masturbating everybody. Every okay, so I don't know how good y'all can hear that. I recommend y'all hear this tutorial on like some real good headphones or some monitors but I'm getting pretty good quality at least in my opinion okay so let me show y'all what I went ahead and did to the vocal um, this is my vocal chain all the powered um, effects are the ones I use you can switch up this order any way you want but um, the beginning of it is pretty basic and I, I think that's how most people start off so let me go ahead and turn off all these and start at the top so I started with an EQ started with the parametric EQ in Adobe Audition. I used the high pass filter and two cuts. This is my corrective EQ, this is my subtractive EQ. I used the high pass filter so I can get the vocal to cut through the mix, get rid of the low bass in my sound, and I did two cuts around 299 hertz and 501 hertz, which were some troubled frequencies. After that, I used the multiband compressor. I used a ratio of 3 to 1. Um, attack 5 release 10 and that's just regular compressor that's what I use to get the dynamics down and get the peaks down after another com after that compressor I add another EQ this this EQ I use to boost to get the clarity in my voice so I use the first EQ to get rid of the trouble frequencies and the high pass filter then I use compression use the compressor get the peaks down and then I use another EQ to boost around anywhere from 2k to 5k and some high end to get that airy feeling and to get that clarity and that presence in your voice 
for everyone it's different but the tone and clarity in your voice is going to be anywhere from 1k to 5k so after that eq i use this plugin on adobe audition that i love a lot and i haven't really seen it in other dolls it's called a mastering plugin i don't use any of this i don't i don't use any of that i don't use any of the output game loudness mass maximizer i do use the whitener it's pretty good it gets your vocal pretty wide kind of stereo feeling um, I use the reverb a little bit, about 3%. I don't ever really use a lot of reverb when it comes to hip-hop unless I'm doing like a real fancy um, hook. And then this is the main part that I love, the exciter part. This is the exciter that I was talking about. So um, I put it anywhere from 5 to 20% depending on the type of the song and whatever. But you, there's an emote of the exciter and you can put retro tape and tube. I usually use tape saturation or exciter so that's all I do for the mastering then I add a de -esser to get the harshness of the S's and the sibilants out and these last two are optional in my opinion a delay and a hard limiter a hard limiter is just the final squashing of the vocal and in my opinion I don't really squash them I just get the little peaks out to get my vocal nice and even so that's all I do. I that's my hip hop vocal chain. I use an EQ, a compressor, another EQ, a mastering plugin, a deesser analog, and a delay. So one by one, I'm gonna power these, and you can start hearing the difference of how I create my sound. So this is the vocal without the first EQ, the corrective EQ. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide. This is with the EQ powered on. Every time I push these green buttons, it's powering it on and off. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on the mic? What well, that shit's been established. That's me. That's me. Yeah. And you can see just with the corrective EQ, the high pass filter and the two cuts, you have already cleaned up your vocal a lot. Next is the compressor. So this is without the compression. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. With the compression. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on the mic? What well, that shit's been established. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I'm some like a... So that compression is just giving you a real even vocal and adding some thickness and some depth and some character to it. The second EQ is the boosting. This is where you're gonna hear the start hearing the vocal sound real clear. So this is without it. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. This is with it. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man. I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on the mic? What well, that shit's been established. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I'm some like a heavyweight. You could see how boosting a vocal can really help your vocal, but you got to be real careful with the boosting and how much you boost because it can destroy a perfectly good vocal. Now here's my favorite, this mastering. Just pay attention to the character of, of the vocal that it adds with this mastering plugin in Adobe Audition CC. This is without it. I spit the shit raw going in no fucking plastic. This is with it. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on the mic? What well, that shit's been established. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I'm some like a heavyweight playing with the beat. You can say that I'm masturbating everybody. Everybody want... I love this plugin. Uh, next, I got the de to get rid of the siblings. Sometimes the exciters cause a lot of siblings. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. And then I got a delay and a heart limiter. The delay is optional. I like to use it anywhere from 5, 4 to 6 percent, around 4 or 6 milliseconds, depending on the, the tempo of the song. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of like an addict because I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on? Delays used a lot to like glue the vocal and the beat to, you know, so you won't have that much separation. It's used as a filler and it just adds a lot of thickness and depth. 
Last was a hard limiter just to get those peaks down. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of liking that. If you take a look at my hard limiter, I have it at negative 10 dB, so this vocal is not going to go any higher than negative 10 dB. I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kind of liking that. So yeah, yeah, y'all, that's my vocal chain. That's pretty much what it consists of. Um, I'll do another video similar to this explaining how my vocal chain differentiates when I use um, like Waves plugins, Fab Filter, you know, these are just stock plugins in Adobe Audition CC. I'll let you hear it one last time. <laughs> I spit the shit raw, going in no fucking plastic. Now wrap me up, divide me, man, I'm still not average. I'm kinda liking that it, cause I got some bad habits. Who the sickest on the mic? What that shit's been established? That's me, that's me. Yeah, I'm some like a heavyweight. Playing with the beat, you can say that I'm master.